Okay, so let's talk about Punnett squares and how we go about setting those up first. Remember that a Punnett square is just a two by two block. So you're gonna draw your square. Okay, you're gonna make four sections. The outside is where we're going to write the parent alleles, and the inside is where we're going to write the offspring alleles. So if this is complete dominance, meaning one trait is dominant over another trait, then we want to start by understanding what our genotypes and phenotypes are, what are our possibilities. You would get this from reading the question. So if we look at example one in your notes, it says yellow peas are dominant over green peas. Two heterozygous pea plants are crossed. Work out the probability of each possible offspring phenotype. Use the letter Y to represent the alleles. In this case, we have two heterozygous pea plants. I'm going to use the letter R. It does not matter what letter you use, but I always suggest you use a letter that is very clearly uppercase and lowercase so you can tell the difference between them. If you use things like P or Y or W or S, sometimes they're hard to tell. So I'm going to use the letter R. Okay. I know that my parents are heterozygous. Hetero meaning different, so I know I need two different alleles. I'm going to write one dominant allele here and one recessive allele here. This is going to represent one of the parents. Now typically what I say is I put the father across the top. You don't have to do it that way. You just have to put one parent. You write one allele in this area and one allele in this area. You could have written the lowercase here and the uppercase here, again, it wouldn't make a difference, but typically we write the capital letter first. We know the other parent is hetero, also heterozygous. So I'm gonna put my other dominant allele there and my other recessive allele there, okay? Now I'm gonna figure out the genotypes for the offspring Although from this, I will also be figuring out the phenotypes. Remember, this is for pea color. So yellow peas are dominant. So yellow, because this is complete dominance, could be this or this. It could either be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. We're saying green is the recessive. So green can only be homozygous recessive, okay? Now let's fill in the center. In box number one, I bring this capital letter down and this capital letter over. In box number two, I bring this capital letter over and this lowercase letter down. In box three, I bring this uppercase letter down, this lowercase letter over. And in box four, I bring this lowercase letter down and this lowercase letter over. So these are my results. Now remember, this doesn't mean that if you have four offspring, one will be this, two will be this, and one will be this. These are chances of. So if I crossed these two parent plants, I have a chance of having 75% yellow and 25% chance of having green. Doesn't mean it will happen perfectly that way. That's our probability. So let's write out our probability. Sometimes we do this in percentage, sometimes we do this in ratio. You have to pay attention to what it's asking for. As a reminder, yellow and green 
These are phenotypes. This is what the actual trait looks like to our eyes. These letters, these are genotypes. These are what the genes look like. So let's write out our genotypes and phenotypes. If you're asked for a ratio, I'll start with genotypes. I would write one homozygous dominant. You can write it like this, or you can write the words homozygous dominant. Then I draw two dots. Then I do two heterozygous. Again, you can write it like this, or you can write out the word heterozygous. And then I have one homozygous recessive. If I wanted the ratio of the phenotypes, because remember this is your genotype, if I wanted the ratio of the phenotypes, I would write three yellow and one green. Sometimes you're asked for the percentages. If I wanted that, again, for the genotype, I would write 25% homozygous dominant, 50% heterozygous, and 25% homozygous recessive. That's because each box is worth 25%. So if I've got one box here, it's 25. I've got two boxes of this, so that's 50. I've got one box of this, that's 25. If I wanted the phenotype percentages, I would say 75% chance of having yellow, 25% chance of having green. That's because, again, each box is 25%, but these three boxes code for yellow, and this box codes for green. So the most important part is really to remember what are your phenotypes, what are your genotypes. Again, this is complete dominance.